Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This is Stella Stero's Messages. I would like to thank each and every one of you for liking, commenting, subscribing, and donating to my channel. I really do appreciate all the love and all the support. And thank you for those of you who've been booking readings with me. It is truly appreciated, okay? So guys, I am getting the vibe that somebody is suppressing their feelings for you. Um, somebody, uh, this person, I feel like they may bury themselves with work. They may um, like remove themselves from certain situations to avoid thinking about you. So let's say for instance, like if this person hangs around people that are in a couple, they try to stay um, away or they try to like, chill with people that are like maybe wow confirmation they may chill with people that are like single so that way they don't have to think about relationship or people that may enable their toxic behavior okay so yeah this person i feel like yeah this person is yeah definitely burying themselves in work trying to distract themselves from thinking about you uh, reminiscing about the good old days the good moments that you guys had together with this person's um, seeing other people as well to distract them from you okay so messages for the collective what do you want the collective to know yeah this is like really giving me um, like this person's running away messages for the collective yeah we have the king of cups so this is somebody who's really fond of you with the king of cups they got um, deep feelings for you okay this person could be a cancer Pisces Scorpio don't have to be Wow this person is going through a tower moment they're having a powerful real realization that they are in love with you or that they're falling in love with you um, I heard you making a player reconsider you're making a player reconsider <laughs> this is what I heard so this person could have had the tendency to play games or to I heard gone with the wind like you know oh my gosh you know what I heard freak them and delete them this is like a verse in one of Gucci's men's song uh, amnesia okay if you ever heard that song go listen to it he says most of these girls i don't i freak them and delete them wow i don't know if you guys heard the confirmation in the background so this person has the tendency to just like you know have like you know just one night stands and stuff like that with people and then just move on with their lives but i feel like with you even if you guys had like a passionate encounter this person still thinks about you they can't get over you they they don't want to move on from you okay this is what i'm getting here and with the fool card because i didn't speak on the fool but this person is trying to take a leap of faith towards you they want to make a they want to take a risk they feel like you're worth it yeah we have the queen of wands you're coming up as the queen of wands very beautiful handsome passionate confident in who you are and this person really likes that about you this person is definitely very attracted to your beauty. They are attracted to your looks, but they're also attracted to your confidence, your stability, your ability to get things done, the things that you hold dear to yourself, like your ability to just know that you are that girl or that guy and you trust in yourself and you're confident in who you are. Messages for the collective. Yeah, five of swords. There could have been like some sort of conflict with you and this person yeah there could have been like some sort of conflict here with you and this person and then like i feel like after a while you were not like you guys were not seeing eye to eye for some reason maybe they said something or done something that throw you um put you off guard or something like that not off guard um caught you off guard that's what i'm saying that's what i wanted to say oh my gosh i can't speak holy moly um with the five of wands sorry the five of swords energy holy moly this person's energy is very confusing it's like all over the place but this person's kind of upset with themselves with the five of swords that they didn't get the reaction that they were hoping for i feel like this person is becoming obsessed with you because the tower is here they're having a powerful realization that they are in love with you but it might be too late yeah this person may have had you in some sort of third party situation 
yeah, this person had you in a third party situation and they were entertaining other options. Yes, guys, I can make it up. Three of Cups, a Seven of Cups and Three of Cups. This is third party energy. Seven of Cups is having multiple options and Three of Cups is like being in a third party because there's three people on the card. So this person was entertaining other people at the same time that you guys were talking. Like I said, this is a player that's reconsidering their options with you. They're reconsidering like whether they wanna be with you or not or they wanna be with other people or they wanna keep their options open and explore that. Now this person is narrowed down to you, but I feel like a lot of you are like, no, I don't wanna be with you. Like if I am just an option to you, what is the point? Like why would I wanna deal with you or be with you if I'm just like another one on your list? And this person is not liking that. Yeah, temperance, maybe this person wants to work it out with you with the temperance card. <sighs> Yeah, I'm having anxiety, guys. Like this person, I feel like they're having anxiety, but they're trying to keep it all together. Cause it's not my anxiety, cause I'm cool. Like I'm calm, cool and collected and that's temperance energy. But I feel like this person is trying to keep up a facade that they're calm, cool and collected about the whole situation. But they're really in the five of swords energy. They are angry, they are upset. So if this person is watching you online, or they have you on social media, they watch your page, they watch everything that you post, they watch everything that you say, like your, your messages, people that talk to you, people that reply to you, this person watches every little thing, okay? Messages for the collective, wow, we have the nine of cups, this person sees you as wish fulfillment, like you are highly desired, ah, you're desirable, this person is obsessed, <laughs> didn't I say? Because we have the devil. But I can't show the card, so I just have to block it. We have the devil, so the card behind it is the devil here. And then we have the nine of swords. I'm telling you, this person is having a lot of anxiety. This is why I was getting the anxiety energy. Because now they're realizing, oh my gosh, like I made a mistake. Like I let the collective go. And they were actually the one I was looking for, the one that I really want, who I want to be in a relationship with, who I want to spend the rest of my days with, my dream girl, my dream guy. And I messed it up by having other options. And now they want to work it out with you. They want, like I'm telling you, I keep hearing a player who wants to reconsider. They are obsessed in your energy. We have the nine of swords. Now they're stressed out. That's why I was feeling anxious. I was like, yo, that's not me. I'm, I'm cool. <laughs> like, that's not my energy. So they're stressed out, guys, with the nine of swords, the devil. They see you as their desires. Wow messages for the collective yeah you see five of wands competition they're willing to fight for you they're willing to fight for this connection they want to make it work with you you got a player wanting to consider guys that's like i keep hearing that like boy i don't know it's up to you if you want this person but I, i'm getting like the vibe that they will put in the effort they will put in the effort to make it work, but it's really up to you if you want to be with this person. You don't have to just because now they, they see you as like, you know, the prize. Like they should have seen some, well, they should have seen that from the jump. I can't speak. This person doesn't want me to talk. <laughs> I know it's the new moon, but it's not. Mercury is not retrograding until the 15th. So I don't know what's going on. Every time Mercury retrograde, I always blame Mercury. <laughs> for like my inability to speak but now she's he's not in retrograde i don't know if it's a she or he he's not retrograding so i can't blame him we have the ten of pentacles they want to build with you Ooh, i'm getting like this person may come back during the retrograde the 15th if you I'm getting like some of you, I'm getting the energy of like some of you don't even want this person back and others of you do, but like you don't want them to come back the same way that they left, like, you know, the same behaviors, the same toxic traits. You want them to come back like, you know, with renewed energy, but I feel like a lot of you, this person's not going to come back with renewed energy. It's going to be the same BS, but they're going to be putting in effort into like meeting your needs. So like this person may want to sweep things under the rug where they don't want to address the reason why you guys parted ways in the first place. They just want to pick up where you guys left off and they don't want you to move on. Like this person's afraid that you will leave them in 2023 because you know how 2024 is like a month and a half away. Yeah. 
and this person's afraid that you will just like leave them in 2023 and not look back and like just start the new year fresh fresh energy and that's what they're afraid of they don't want you to leave them behind we have the ten of cups I fell on the floor this person wants a family with you they want to build with you they want a legacy with you because we have the ten ten of pentacles and the ten of cups are the best tens in the deck and this is what this person wants with you. They want the happiness with you. They want love. Oh, this person's heartbroken, guys. But that's on them, though. That's on them. The Five of Cups is on them. They're regretful. Yeah, they want to make it work. They want to make it right with justice energy. This person could have a Libra, Capricorn. We also have um, Sagittarius yeah and scorpio okay yeah they want to make it work yeah they're gonna rush in expect some sort of communication from this person very soon like it could be a couple of i'm getting like a couple of days 10 days five days but for sure like like the latest i'm getting like by the 15th of december like uh, mercury retrograde this person's gonna want to rush back in messages for the collective yeah, this person is willing to take a leap of faith towards you. They're willing to take a leap of faith, but there is an energy of immaturity because we have the page of wands. This person could be very competitive. They may love to have the attention of others. Okay, they like to be the center of attention, but they're coming in strategically with the king of swords. Yeah, they're coming in with stoic energy. Like... You need to stop playing those games. Like, just be honest with truthful about your feelings. Yeah, they're coming in with, you know, with the high priestess, with hidden motives or hidden agenda. Maybe this person's going to come in with an apology. But the apology is to get back into your good grace for you to lower your guards down so that way they could come back in. And I feel like this person could just do the bare minimum effort to get the most maximum results. Or benefit that they could get from you so this person is still coming in with games oh my god and we're in a new moon I feel like a lot of you need to cleanse your energy so that way you could attract new love new people so messages for the collective let's see what they don't want to tell you let's see what they don't want to tell you what is this person hiding what are the true feelings for my collective spirit what is this person's true feeling for my collective what do we have oh my god i regret lying to you because this person know they lied about something that's why they're in the five of cups energy guys they lied to you about something maybe they lied to you about their whereabouts they lied to you about their feelings their intentions what do we have i replay our conversation over and over so this person thinks about the last time that you guys spoke some sort of conversation that you guys had may have made this person like um all up in their head this is what i'm getting here messages for the collective what do we have here founding out the truth crushed me i feel like it's the truth about how they truly feel about you maybe this person got a tarot reading done on you messages for the collective what do you want the collective to know what do you want the collective to know Ooh, it says i hope you can forgive me one day this person is hoping that you could forgive them. That's why I saw the page of cups at the bottom of the deck. They're going to come back in with some sort of apology. Some of you could even expect a gift from this person. It says, I am becoming a better person. So they're kind of like noticing patterns that they have or like something that they're doing. They know that it's toxic. Messages for the collective. How do they feel? Like, what do they don't want to tell you? Ooh, I can't stop thinking about you guys. This person is stuck on you with the devil energy they think about you all the time not a source but they act like they nonchalant that's the energy that i feel like this person's in nonchalant what do we have sometimes i stay awake thinking about you guys i can't make it up nine of swords i'm telling you they cannot sleep at night thinking about you 24 7. this is just for the collective you speak to me through music so maybe they listen to music maybe you guys used to listen to music together chill together and then you know just listen to music in the car in the house whatever it is but they you speak to this person through music maybe they hear certain songs 
that reminds them of you wow i look for you everywhere i'm telling you this person's obsessed with you and i also feel like this person is like you know the people that they are entertaining they're like comparing them to you they're wondering like okay like what do this person have that is similar to the collective that i could pinpoint and compare to so every person that they interact with is like you are the blueprint they have to either match you or be better they can't be lower and if they're lower this person feels like it's like a it's a loss like it's not even worth entertaining and that's why they're trying to reconsider and come back around but some of you this person's kind of scared that you may not even forgive them because it says um i hope that you could forgive me one day like they're really hoping that you would just like you take them back or reconsider their offer i feel like this person like they may have commitment issues as well so they may have a hard time committing to somebody or committing to you know a specific outcome because i feel like this person may have controlling tendencies because we have the devil the devil is also about control um they may have uh controlling tendencies so this person may not like allow the situation to happen naturally like they want to basically alter not alter reality but um control the outcome of the situation where they know exactly what's going to happen in the end so that way they could avoid maybe hurt pain okay so it's really up to you guys but this is like definitely a player coming back around for you okay you got it like that <laughs> So that's all I got for you, my collective. I hope this reading resonated. If it did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.